What's up, Fish and Noobers? It is Thursday, December 14th, and just like I promised, here's my Rod and Reel Arsenal video. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, like I told you guys on the last video, uh, everybody in my house was sick except for me and my oldest son at the time. Shortly after that video, I wound up getting sick. So uh, I know it's a bit late, but here it is. Let's go ahead and get started. This rod was the very first rod that I ever got. It was given to me by my uncle Michael. It's a six foot barefoot fishing medium, medium fast action, I believe that is. Yeah, it's a six foot. And the, the reel is a Daiwa Laguna 2000. Love this little reel, it's smooth. It was a really good reel. I started fishing for stripers with this reel, with this rod and reel, and it's never let me down. And I, I continue to use it to this day, and it's been probably about, I want to say six or seven years, but this thing has been, it's been really good. The cork could use some work, but I'm not sure how to take care of that. I'm quite sure I can find some videos on YouTube how to take care of that. And anyway, there it is. It's a really good combo. It's never let me down. Now my oldest son, he uses it when he decides to go out fishing with me, which isn't very often. Uh, and now this one is the very first rod and reel combo that I actually purchased myself. I got this from Bass Pro Shop when me and my buddy Daniel were out there one day in uh, Manteca. This is a six foot nine medium heavy power plus trophy combo. I don't know if the video, if the camera's picking that up any good. You know, uh, GoPros don't don't focus very well up close. And I believe this reel is a four or 5,000 size. And this is what I moved to when I get, got a little bit better at fishing for striper. It's never let me down also. It's good and sturdy. And this thing, and fishing off the bridge like Daniel and I fish for stripers, it's, it does great. It's got a good bend to it and it, you know, it just does real good. Good rod. I'm gonna keep it around. Next, when I decided to try some multi-species fishing, I moved to the six foot six medium ugly stick GX2. I bought this at Walmart. It was $39, I believe it was, without the reel, of course. That didn't come with it. Uh, this is a cast king reel. Six foot six medium ugly stick GX2. Love this rod. I've caught stripers on this also, uh, crappie, perch, no not perch, excuse me, uh, what did I catch, it was a little, little largemouth bass, I was at some random lake when we were traveling to Fresno one day, and on this I have my Cast King Sharky 2 3000 reel, I love Cast King products as you guys already know, wearing Cast King hat. This reel, I was turned on to the Cast King products by uh, Leo Shang of Extreme Philly Fishing and Ben Milliken of uh, Milliken Fishing. I'll leave links to their channels down in the description on the, on, the, on the video page. And the Cast King products, they've never let me down. They're, they work great. They're cheap and they, they just work. You don't, you don't need to go out and spend $400 on a reel or a rod. I got a couple of Cast King rods coming up too, so you get to see those also. But this is a six foot six medium Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 with the Cast King Sharky 2 3000. Good combo. Next, I'm gonna go with my pride and joy, my seven foot Cast King, of course. Perigee 2, seven foot. This is the twin tip version. When you, when you buy these, they come with two tips. This is the medium heavy tip right here. And on it is the medium two piece rod. Pretty much all of my rods are two piece. So I like the, the travel rods. This is the medium and the medium heavy. And they have this little spigot guide that they call it on the end here, this tip right here. And it feels like when you catch a fish on this thing, it literally feels like you're fishing with a one piece rod. 
it this thing is awesome I don't remember how much I paid for it. I bought it like as soon as they hit the market. I think it was 69, I think. And on it, I, <coughs> excuse me, I have the Cast King Mela 2 3000 reel uh, spooled up with some uh, four pound uh, fluorocarbon. I use, this, I use this one for drop shotting. And the Mela 2 3000 comes with an extra spool. And I've got 50 pound braid on that so I can switch it up and do some bass fishing. And love my Cast King products. Pretty much everything that you guys so far have seen, on a, seen me use on the channel has been all Cast King, if I remember correctly. It should be anyway. But that's the seven foot Cast King Perigee 2. And by the way, this video is going to be just my my spinning combos. My uh, bait casters are going to come up in a later video. Right now, I'm just doing the spinning because I have, well, not many left now. But altogether, I probably have about 16 rods and reels. That's spinning and bait casting. This is the Cast King Ranger. Oh, no, excuse me. This is the Blackhawk. I'm sorry. This is a telescopic rod. Five foot ten, medium, and it's got my Cast King Sharky 2 1500. This was the very first Cast King product that I ever purchased was the, the 1500. And this thing has been put through the works. It catches everything from bass to trout. Um, my youngest son actually caught a catfish just a little guy, it wasn't anything big, with this reel on his rod. I'll show you his rod is coming up here. But this is a the five foot ten medium Cast King Blackhawk. I fished with it a couple of times. It does really good. I keep these, I keep my travel rods in my car just in case with a small box of tackle. Once again, that's the medium. Five foot ten Cast King Blackhawk uh, with the uh, Cast King Sharky 2 1500. And it's got the little hook keeper right here spinning around there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But again, good rods. Anything from Cast King is good. I haven't been let down yet, and I, I don't think I will be. Next, here is. The Ranger. This is the five foot ten Cast King Ranger. I can't see that it's upside down on this rod. Cast King Ranger. Five foot ten. Also, this is the medium. <coughs> excuse me, medium heavy telescoping rod. And this has my. Cast King Centron 3000. Love the colors on that thing. Really shiny. But this is a, a 5 2 to 1 gear ratio. And it's one of their, uh, it's one of Cast King's. I don't want to say, <clears throat> excuse me, um, let me get some water here. I don't want to say cheaper, but I, I guess that's the, you know, it's even more affordable than their regular stuff. And it's it's also good. I've caught trout on this also and uh, crappie also on this one. And it, it's really good, uh, real, all of, like I said, I keep saying all of their stuff is good. Another hook keeper on this one also spinning around there. It's a little bit easier to see. This one's a little bit skinnier than the Blackhawk, but uh, this one is medium heavy. The Blackhawk was medium. These are really good rods. Like I said, I keep both of my travel rods in the car with these reels on them and a small box of tackle. Last but not least, this is my youngest son's combo here. I've had this rod for, wow, I've had this thing for some years. This is what I taught my oldest son how to fish on. This is the five foot six 
Shakespeare reverb. You know, it's a Walmart special. It was, I think this uh, this rod was like fifteen dollars, five ten, and also uh, two piece. Like I said, everything I have is two piece, except for one of my bait casters and uh, my gigantic uh, boat rod that is not going to be featured in this video. Uh, this is also a medium, and with it, there's a Shakespeare reel on here, Shakespeare 35. Daniel, if you're watching, I know you'll recognize this this rod, this reel. <laughs> you gave it to me, and now Marion's using it. And he loves this combo. He can cast this thing a mile. My youngest son is 12 years old, and he loves this combo. He's caught, he caught a catfish. He was the one that caught the catfish. It was little guy at one of our local rivers here <coughs> and he, he loves this because it's a perfect size for him five foot six and it does he does really good with it he's actually caught a striper on this thing matter of fact he's caught a couple of stripers on this thing and he's itching to get back out there and go fishing again got to get him out there so we can uh, do some more fishing anyway there it is that is the fishing noob spinning uh, combo rod arsenal, rod and reel arsenal. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a, sorry about that. I've got two other reels here that I, I forgot to tell you guys about. This is, I bought this also uh, impulse buy. This is the Daiwa Sweetfire 4000. I think I paid at the at a local uh, tackle shop in Fresno. I think it was on sale for like twenty dollars. Once again, Daniel and I, <clears throat> Daniel and I were hanging out, and I picked this puppy up and I uh, put this on my giant boat rod, and this thing is awesome. It's uh, once again, it's never let me down. It's Daiwa, you know. Daiwa has some really good products. I've got two Daiwa uh, reels. And this is one of them. And this this thing is heavy. So I really don't like fishing with it a whole lot. That's why I put it on my boat rod because the boat rod's pretty heavy. And it's you you don't want to be casting this thing all day because you'll you'll wear out your arm and you'll wind up with rotator cuff problems. This thing is heavy. Um, so that's the Daiwa Sweet Fire 4000. And next, this one, the Shakespeare Durango. My oldest son got me this for a Father's Day gift for the uh, the Ugly Stick GX2 a few years back. It's got the, the rear drag. It's not a bait feeder. It's just got the rear drag right here. It works great. I, I really like this reel. It's smooth. You know, it's Shakespeare. Shakespeare also makes good products. You know, they're, they're my second favorite next to Cascane. And this is a single bearing, 5-2 to 1 gear ratio. I've uh, caught bass on this also. I've caught stripers. Well, I've caught one striper with this thing. Um, ever since I got into the Cast King thing, I don't I don't really use a lot of my non-Cast King stuff. Um, I just, I like Cast King. It, it, everything, it's cheap and the stuff just works. So if you get a chance, go check out Cast Kings. Uh, it's, you either find it under Cast King or ePoseidon on, uh, on Amazon or you can go to ePoseidon.com website i'll leave links down in the description for both of those um anyway this this was a really good reel um i do still use it sometimes when i'm just messing around you know other than that it's cast king all the way but i, I do like this reel my son got it for me and i'm never getting rid of it well there it is folks thanks for watching that was fish and noobs spinning rod and reel combo arsenal video uh, please join me again for the bait casters. Uh, that's going to be coming probably sometime next week. Uh, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, drop me some comments down in the comment section. Like I said, I'll leave links to uh, Millican Fishing's uh, channel and uh, Extreme Philly Fishing. Uh, that's Leo Shane. Uh, the two guys that turned me on to the whole Cast King world. They're awesome content. They've got some really good content. Check them out. I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll uh, appreciate, <clears throat> appreciate the watch and the likes. Um, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.